Hi guys, as some of you know, we are now able to try out a lot of new changes that are coming with the future PC 1.0 release for PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds. Today we will go through all of these changes, even the ones that weren't mentioned in the patch notes. The last update to the test servers brought us the long awaited vaulting and climbing update. You can still try out those new features in this update, but for more information about vaulting and climbing then check out this video. In this update we are able to get our hands on two new weapons. As always, I will make a full weapons guide about these two guns, but I can already showcase one of them, and that is the DP-28. The Dechtiariov machine gun is a light machine gun using the 7.62mm cartridges, and it was primarily used by the Soviet Union. It has a 47 round pan magazine and you can attach various sights and even a 4x scope. It takes approximately 6 seconds to reload, so you better make sure that you are uncovered before you decide to do so. It is very accurate when you go prone. It jumps up slightly when you crouch and it jumps up a lot when you are standing up. You can't compensate for this, but then the gun will pull more violently to the left and to the right. It has a low firing rate, but a long effective firing range with high damage. The other new weapon is the Org A3 and it is limited to care packages. It's an assault rifle that uses 5.56mm cartridges in a 30 round magazine. It has a high muzzle velocity, high rate of fire and low vertical recoil. The firing rate of the SKS and the BD-14 has been reduced, so keep that in mind when you decide to use these weapons. On the other hand, the recoil for the MK-14 has been decreased. When you use a DMR, you can now sprint as fast as when you're holding an assault rifle in your hands. Unfortunately for the M16A4, we can no longer attach an 8x or a 15x scope. Our beloved 4x scope has received some changes as well. You will now see a blur effect on the outside of your scope. Same for a few other scopes. There is a new reticle for the 7.62mm weapons, sniper rifles and SMGs when they use a 4x scope. We can now finally shoot a player who is hiding in the water. I was planning to make a video about this for so long, but we were never able to do that, so it didn't make sense. Until now. So expect to see an underground killing guide as soon as the PC 1.0 update is available to everybody. The bullets are now finally able to penetrate the water, but it's not that simple. Everything will depend on the velocity of the projectile and on the angle of penetration. This means that if you're shooting straight down, that your bullet will behave differently compared to shooting at a very shallow angle, but more on that later in another video. They are also working on the new damage model. You may find a detailed look over here in this video, where you can see the exact hitbox detection model that is being used in PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds. This video is still valid for the main game, but the following changes might be added to the PC 1.0 release. As you can see, they are reducing the hit damage for hands and for feet. You can now only cause 30% of damage to those areas. Shooting the upper arm is 10% more effective and shooting the thighs is also more effective. One of the most noticeable changes that came with this update is the fact that the minimap has been improved. But to be honest with you, I am not a big fan of the new change. They decreased the saturation of the minimap to make room for more information about your team members. Which is great, but they adjusted the colors. And I definitely do not like this. It seems too bland and way too boring. I prefer to see the normal colors, because I find the transition from the minimap to the main view very awkward. The difference in color is just way too big. Can you guys let me know in the comments what you think about this, because I wonder if this is the same for everybody. A great change is the fact that we can now see our team members feel the view on the map. This will make our coordination efforts much easier. Another big change is the new layout and fonts that they are now using. The magnetic compass indicator now shows the actual degrees, but it is still rounded off to 5. It would be great to see the actual degree, without it being rounded up, but I'm sure that they will implement that in the future. The design for the in-game HUD, the option window, the inventory etc has been improved, and everything is now more streamlined. This is definitely a welcome change. Also the current amount of ammo in your magazine is now showing up using a larger font size. This will make it easier for you to make the decision when you should reload and when not to. If you play with your buddies, then you will now be able to see their health bars in the bottom left corner instead of the top left corner. And they made the color difference much easier to notice for when you're playing squads. When somebody gets killed, you can now choose to see an icon in the kill feed. For example, you will see a fist when somebody gets killed by a punch. You will see a tombstone when somebody dies outside of the zone, etc. You can turn this feature on by going to your settings, gameplay, and then you can set the icon kill feed to on. This is also where you can turn on the new kill cam. Just scroll down to the bottom and enable the kill cam underneath the features. Healing with bandages is now a lot more effective and I will still keep around 15 of them in my loadout if I have the space. 
Normally, it took 8.5 seconds for one bandage to do what it was supposed to do. Now, it will heal you in only 4.5 seconds. That will definitely help you if you don't have a medkit or first aid in your loadout. If you like the third person mode and you decide to go prone, then you will now see a lowered camera position. This will make it more difficult for you to peek over walls or to use the grass as cover while you're firing at your enemy. If you take a closer look at your health bar, then you can now see a grayed out area that can show you the exact point of 75% health. This will make it easier to decide which kind of healing item you need at any given time. When you get close to the blue zone, you will hear the following sound. This has been added for a more dramatic effect. Speaking of dramatic effects, the new sound of the bombs dropping in the red zone is just amazing. They did an awesome job at changing the way these bombs explode. The immersion is almost complete and I have never experienced a better effect in any game that tries to do something similar. It is extremely detailed and I felt as if I was being attacked by those bombs. The sound of the bombs being released is also a nice addition as well together with the sound of the bombs falling. Normally people run away from the red zone, but you will find me sitting in the middle just to enjoy the show from now on. A new sound was also added for when a player jumps into the water. It will be slightly different based on the speed of that player. A lot of other optimizations were also implemented, but you may find those in the patch notes in the video description. If you're interested, you can try out all of these new changes for yourself on the test servers. And by the way guys, the YouTube likes and comments are very helpful to me. If you think that this video is worthy, would you mind taking a moment to like and to post a comment on this video. If you haven't done so already, then make sure to subscribe. This was Fog of Gaming, thanks for watching and I will see you in Battlegrounds.